all. Today I am going to be doing a video for Valentine's Day. I participated in this Valentine's Day secret handmade card swap. This is also part of a collaboration and this video is going into a playlist which I will link below and if you can spare some time to go visit those other YouTubers who have participated. That would be awesome. I love snail mail. I love getting stuff and mailing it. Today I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions. Actually there's only seven. Still a bunch. I have my six-year-old in here. She's going to be making, she is making Valentine's and it was her own idea. So I think that is totally cute. You will see in my video. First I opened my Valentine's Day snail mail from my secret partner. I also included another package that I got for Valentine's Day. It will be near the end when I am finished answering all these questions for you guys. So, one, okay, question number Gosh, it keeps moving. Question number one. When you were a child, what did you want to be? Hmm, there are so many things I wanted to be. A policewoman, an artist, and I think somewhere in there, a chef. But the one thing that I really wanted to be was Nancy Drew. I used to carry around a notebook and I would take note of everything that happened and actually my room looked like I was Nancy Drew because I wrote down everything. Every single movie I had watched, every single show I watched on what day and the time, I would write down literally everything. I wanted to solve mysteries and be Nancy Drew and just observe the world and take note of everything that happened around me. Wait, what is a little thing your husband does that you appreciate? Mopping. <laughs> she says mopping. <laughs> I have never seen daddy mop. Okay, maybe once or twice. You're silly. <laughs> it does kind of go along those lines. I do love when he does things that take the load off my hands because I am a stay-at-home mom. Ew. And I do a lot around the house. I take pride in what I do, but I also do a lot and I get overwhelmed. So it's really nice when he comes and takes care of dishes, the laundry, bathing the children, and things like that. So it's showers. really the little things. He takes showers. Yep, he definitely does take showers. Thank goodness for that, huh? What do you remember about your first impression about... What's, what do I remember about him? Hmm. I don't know. He's coming home today. The peanut gallery back there. I don't know if I can answer this question right now, but I will try. The very first thing I noticed, ooh, this is getting kind of personal. The very first thing I noticed may possibly have been his haircut. No, I'm, I'm joking. It was kind of high and tight. <laughs> Let's see. I think I remember his eyes, his green eyes. He was very handsome when I first saw him and <laughs> She's making this almost impossible to do. <laughs> I'm not me. Yes, you. But I do remember how handsome he was. And I also remember his sense of humor. The first time we ever hung out in a group setting, he stood out because he was talking to me and he was being rather funny. And I couldn't stop laughing the entire dinner. That would probably be actually the two things I noticed about him. And he makes the greatest dinners. <laughs> Red, pink, or purple? Hmm. Honestly, I would pick neither of them. Scratch that. Ew. If I have to choose... <laughs> If I had to choose one of those three colors, I would pick purple because purple is my best friend's favorite color. If I had it my way, it would either be green, like a light, like a lime green, or I've really been digging gray. And I know that sounds kind of bland and blob. I've been really into gray lately. I mean, look at this. Gray. Favorite Valentine movie? What? Um, I was thinking that this is hard. This is a hard question um, because no movie comes to mind that just goes with Valentine's Day. There was one that had Taylor Swift in it maybe that I liked and Taylor Lautner. I think that had to do with Valentine's Day. I think I should do some research. What movie was that? Yep, 
Valentine's Day is the one I'm thinking of, and there's a bunch of famous people in it. I think I'm actually going to rewatch that. Pretty much encompasses all different types of relationships and how people are connected and how they stay connected and stuff. I think I'm going to watch this again. I'm going to say this one. Another one that I would probably watch on Valentine's Day that's not really a Valentine's Day movie is Love Actually. I would watch that probably any season. I love that movie. Celebrity Valentine. Hmm. I think it would actually be really weird to have someone come to my house and be like, Hey, I'm gonna be your Valentine. I'm really awkward with first dates. The person would have to be funny. Really, that's all I care about. Someone that just seems naturally funny. Like, some of my picks are... Seth Rogen, Justin Timberlake seems like he's naturally funny, Jamie Foxx, Andy Samberg, Adam Sandler, all-time favorites. Bradley Cooper seems like he'd be funny, naturally. Channing Tatum, Michael Sarah, Zach Galifianakis, Vince Vaughn, Steve Carroll. And I wouldn't even stop with the males. Right, so I would add Ellen because I love her. Love Amy Poehler, Tina Fey. Yes, I do. We love watching her. I think that Emma Stone would be naturally funny too. Oh, Betty White. Favorite Valentine's Day treat. I'm not really big on sweets. I know that I've mentioned dark chocolate. Mm, Those are good. No, I like good. Dove and Godiva, if I had to pick. The way to my heart is to cook me a really good meal. And no, bananas in a smoothie bananas in a smoothie. Something that's just like a big old plate of food and just send me into a food coma. I love to eat. Okay, now on to the fun part. I opened my package and I did them both together. You know, two birds, one stone, so why not? The first package I opened is from my friend. She's my P.O. box buddy. I opened hers and went through all the goodies and stuff. And then in the second package I opened is from my secret valentine. I hope you guys enjoy the unwrapping, unpackaging, the opening of the valentines. I'm really excited to show you what I got. Without further ado, here it is. to share a little bit of my snail mail that I received. So I'm really excited. The first one is from my newest snail mail buddy. Girl. Girl. I should have brought scissors up here. It's all wrapped and decorative. That's me. <laughs> we are going to be amazing P.O. Box buddies. <laughs> Your card was hilarious, Monica. What is this? Wow. This is so so neat. What? Oh my gosh, this is so neat. I have some paper to write to-do lists. I don't have one with the day days on it. Oh my god. I love these. This is such a cute bag. What? I feel so fancy. What? Another one. These are super cute. This is what I need. I... This is my favorite. I actually did a review on these, which is really funny that she... Oh yeah, that's right. She watched my video. This is the one I had in my review. Ooh, I like all these masks. Lavender. Another one. Definitely use these. A must. Dang, she came through with the Burt's Bees. I've actually never had the vanilla bean kind. Let's pop this sucker open right now. Mmm. I like it. Yes, I haven't smelled this one. Mmm, it smells so good. What a nice gift. This stuff is amazing. These purses, I'll probably use these. These would be perfect for the gym. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, girl. You are an awesome package maker. The next one is part of the Valentine's Day secret card swap. It's kind of cool. Ooh, I see chocolate. Mmm. I'm gonna have one now. I love chocolate. Is this dark chocolate? Oh, I love dark, dark chocolate. Go ahead, you deserve it. I know. This is a cute card. Hmm. Enjoy the yummies and the goodies for when I need mommy time. That's so sweet and thoughtful. Oh my gosh, it's grapefruit. Nope. Chocolate's trying to get away from me. Oh, I've never used clay before. 
This will be exciting. I kind of wish I had like five faces so I could use them all at once. Ooh, how do you do the fast fix sheet mask and coconut water? And I got chocolate. Well, I think that was really awesome. Both packages are filled with stuff that I would totally use, so none of this is going to go to waste. I don't know. I don't know what it is about sending mail and receiving mail, but I just love it. I'm so excited that I have my P.O. Box buddy on one side, and I can do all these fun box swaps on the other. Now I'm going to finish making some packages. If you didn't notice, I have my P.O. Box below. If you wanted to mail me something, like a postcard or something like that, I would love it. And I also write back, so there's that. And we could be snail mail buddies too. Yay. I hope you guys enjoyed this collaboration effort. It's These are big, really fun. It kind of gives you a, I know it's a video, a task to do, and it's that's what makes it kind of simple because you know what you have to do and you like kind of stick to the task and make the video and have fun with it. I'm really glad you guys tuned in. I hope that you'll tune in and tune in in the future. And if you like videos like this where I do a collaboration and share it on a playlist, please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you are not subscribed yet. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and you will get updates to my new videos whenever I post them. Happy Valentine's Day to you all and I will see you later. Go and watch their videos. Go. 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 Let's get this straight. Better? No. Better? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, what's going on in my sock? <laughs> I didn't have your Bradley Cooper. Celebrity crushes are out for me. I don't really see the point in it. Secret handmade Valentine's Day swap card swap thingies. What is this? That's a mouthful. I've been having a hard time saying that.